Longships were specialized warships from Scandinavia. Archaeological evidence confirms their existence and documentation dating back to at least the 4th century BC. The Norsemen, known as Vikings, originally created these ships for trade, exploration, and combat during the Viking Age. Known for their graceful, long, narrow, lightweight, and a shallow draft hull designed built for speed. Their design features were later adopted by other cultures, such as the Anglo-Saxons. The techniques and skills used to create longships are still practiced around the world, often with modern updates. The shallow draft allowed them to navigate in just one meter of water and made beach landings possible. Their lightweight also meant they could be carried over land or used for shelter in camps. Longships had oars running nearly the entire length of the vessel. Later models included a rectangular sail on a single mast, which helped the rowers, especially on long trips. Their primary goal was to quickly transport as many fighters as they could to the battlefield. In the 10th century, Longships were occasionally linked together during battles at sea to create a stable base for foot soldiers. Longships featured a double-ended design, with identical bows and sterns that enabled them to change direction swiftly without the need to turn around. The earliest longships date back to between 300 and 500 BC, starting with the construction of the Danish Jortspring boat. It was secured with cord instead of nails and was paddled rather than rowed. The boat had rounded cross sections and measured 20 meters, 65 feet in length, but was only two meters, six feet wide and weighed about 530 kilograms, 1,170 pounds. Its rounded shape allowed for maximum displacement with minimal wetted surface area, making it very fast like a modern narrow rowing skiff, though it had limited carrying capacity. This design indicates it was mainly used in rivers. The oldest known true longship discovered is the Nidum ship, which was constructed in Denmark around 350 AD. The vessel measures 23 meters, 75 feet, in length and approximately 3.5 meters, 11 feet, in width. It's a clinker build ship and weighed more than 3 tons and was equipped with 14 pairs of oars, suggesting it likely accommodated a crew of about 45 men. Viking shipbuilders relied on their imagination rather than written blueprints or standardized design plans. They envisioned the longship in their minds, drawing from their experience with earlier vessels, and then constructed the ship starting from the keel. The subsequent phase involved constructing the strakes, which are the rows of planks connected end to end from the bow to the stern. Most longships were crafted using the clinker method, also referred to as lap strake, where each plank of the hull overlaps the one beside it. To guarantee a watertight seal, each overlap was filled with materials such as wool, animal hair, or occasionally hemp that had been soaked in pine tar. As the planks attained the intended height, the interior framework, known as futtocks, along with the cross beams, were incorporated. Viking boat builders typically maintained a spacing of approximately 850 millimeters, 33 inches. This specific spacing was essential for ensuring the proper distance between rowing stations and for accommodating the chests that Norse sailors utilized as thwarts or seats. The oars were secured in holes carved beneath the gunwale, rather than using rowlocks or thole pins. To prevent seawater from entering, wooden discs were fitted from the inside to seal these or holes when the oars were not in action. With holes measuring up to 5.60 meters, 18.4 feet in width, these longships boasted impressive stability, reducing the risk of capsizing while under sail. Additionally, ocean-going longships featured taller sides, approximately 1 meter, 3 feet, high, to effectively keep water at bay. A typical ship would utilize approximately 700 kilograms, 1,500 pounds, of iron nails for a vessel measuring 18 meters, 59 feet, in length. Studies of timber samples from Viking longboats reveal that while various types of wood were employed, oak was the favored choice, a tree linked to Thor in Viking lore. The longships typically measured around 30 meters, 98 feet, in length and had a width of 5 meters, 16 feet. With a length-to-breadth ratio of 7 to 1, 
these vessels were entirely exposed to the weather. Essentially, they resembled enlarged rowboats that featured sails for added mobility. Sails measured perhaps 11 to 12 meters, 35 to 40 feet, across, and were made of rough wool cloth. The sail was secured by a mast that reached heights of up to 16 meters, 52 feet. The base of this mast measured approximately 250 millimeters by 180 millimeters, 10 by 7 inches. Supporting the mast was a substantial wooden structure known as a curling, which translates to Old Woman in Old Norse, and featured a semicircular design. Crafted from oak, the curling was around 700 millimeters, 28 inches wide, and could extend up to 6 meters, 20 feet, in length on the larger vessels. The curling was accompanied by a component known as the mast fish. This wooden beam, situated just beneath the deck, played a crucial role in supporting the mast. It spanned approximately 3 meters, 10 feet, in length and featured a 1.4 meter, 4.6 feet, slot at the rear to accommodate the mast during its ascent. Typically, masts were about half the length of the ship, ensuring they remained within the hull's confines when lowered. In the early days, long boats had a type of steering oar. By the 10th century, the side rudder, known as a steerboard, became common. This rudder was made from a piece of wood around 2.4 meters, 7.9 feet long. The top part was rounded, measuring about 150 millimeters, 6 inches in diameter, while the lower blade was approximately 1.8 meters by 0.4 meters, 5.9 by 1.3 feet. Viking ships typically traveled at speeds between 5 and 10 knots, 9 to 19 kilometers per hour, with a maximum speed of about 15 knots, 28 kilometers per hour, under good conditions. Longships primarily utilized two types of anchors. The most prevalent was a natural wooden yoke crafted from a tree branch. The anchor's weight came from a stone that was threaded through the U-shaped yoke. To secure the stone, the top of the yoke was capped with either a sturdy piece of hardwood or a curved iron head. One side of the head protruded, allowing it to burrow into mud or sand. A distinctive iron anchor has been discovered at the Ladby ship burial site in Denmark. It bears a resemblance to contemporary fishermen's anchors, though it lacks the crossbar, which might have corroded over time. Crafted from Norwegian iron, this anchor features an extended iron chain that was used to secure the hemp warp. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.